good morning friends today we are going to discuss about why do we need advanced manufacturing or advanced machining processes okay now before this the question arises is that what is the present day demand trends in various kinds of industries especially high tech industries just like aerospace missile automobile nuclear reactor etc so the answer of this question is as we know that engineering materials which are in demand they should have much superior property than the commonly used metals and alloy and what should be the property just as we see they should have ultra ultra high strength hardness very high temperature resistance okay very high temperature resistance because there are certain component just like turbine blades yes turbine blades they operate at 1100 to 1200 degree celsius temperature so that at that temperature they should be able to retain their shape and size and other property while it is in the use okay now when we use ultra high strong material as work piece material then the question arises how to machine them correct so it becomes very difficult to machine by conventional methods where we know that the work basic principle is that tool material hardness should be much higher than the work piece material hardness and this principle is known as manufacturing era started thinking on evolution evolving new manufacturing process a new manufacturing process and the result was as well this problem arises and the result was as we know all know advanced manufacturing processes where you all over the over the period of time here the important thing is work piece hardness does not matter in advanced ma machining processes advanced machining process as i just mentioned that hardness is the barrier in case of conventional machining process so when we we are using advanced manufacturing process hardness does not remain as a barrier for manufacturing or machining it so now why now there are various reason why we do use advanced man, uh, machining processes so the question arises why do you need advanced manufacturing or machining processes and the basic answer for this is there are various limitations with our conventional machining methods or conventional machining processes just like i have already mentioned that work piece hardness should be smaller or lower than the tool hardness the present day industry they need very high level of surface finish then uh, surface roughness okay uh, that means surface roughness value should be very very low okay and every people are in demand of nano level surface roughness value uh, that is ra should be in the range of 1 one, 1 one nanometer to 9 nan, uh, 99 nanometer and there are various uh, components which are 3d in 3d in nature 3d uh, three dimensional just like turbine blades the question arises how to make them by conventional machining method which is very difficult because these three components may mean of these three components are made of super alloys which are very very hard or they have the hardness as good as that of cutting tool material single point or multi point cutting tools material which we normally use in conventional methods and their geometry in many cases are complex and it is difficult to machine them by conventional method so in most of cases industry people use cnc machine that is computer numerical control machine 
now the increased overpiece hardness will lead to the decrease or decrease the economic cutting speed okay because as the hardness of the workpiece increases the cutting speed at which in uh, conventional method you can machine this particular part keeps on uh, decreasing that means productivity goes down or you get lower productivity that means more expensive component okay more time consuming also and as we have already seen there are the rapid improvement in the property of properties of the materials which are used as a workpiece materials and now metal and metal and non metals are used as a workpiece met materials just like stainless steel high strength temperature resistance super alloys so the question arises how can we machine them and when we see these proper uh, these properties of this material definitely we have to go for using the other ones machining processes and now when tool material hardness is very close to the workpiece material hardness then you require much superior quality of the tool metal and now apart from apart from the workpiece metal property there are the product requirement which are very complex in shape many many products are very complex in shape now many times you require as i will give you uh, some example to machine the components in inaccessible areas for the conventional machining machine tools maybe single point cutting tool or multi point cutting tools there you definitely require advanced machining processes so 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 the tolerances is required these days are very very small say 10 micrometer or even smaller than 10 micrometer depending upon the requirement of component okay so this is again the need and you need better surface integrity this is very important to understand the surface integrity means the surface the surface after mustang should not have any defect maybe micro cracks or poor surface finish or heat affected zone kind of kind of the thing should not be there otherwise it may get rejected during the inspection and high surface finish as i have already mentioned so to achieve this we require the advanced machining processes now again for the miniaturization of the products is another thing which forces you to use the advanced machining processes you can see in the older days or even uh, today we use the landline phone which are much larger in size as compared to the mobile and these mobiles have much more capa capabilities than landline phones you can inter uh, you can uh, internet with the help of this mobile you can send the email with the help of this mobile and everything is compacted in very small size of the product that is the mobile old computer and laptop the old computer say if you uh, see uh, there is a room and this size of the room could not have much more memory than what you can have in the laptop which is very very small in the size so this miniaturization requires very small size of component which diff uh, different capabilities and very different material and for machining these components you definitely are required the processes other than the conventional machining processes and the industry people always talk to high production rate they need process which can give high productivity while high productivity while processing difficult to machine material special especially also they always demand that cost of production should be lower okay or low as possible so that they can have higher profit also precise and ultra precise machining or uh, or nanometer machining are the requirement of today's sophisticated high-tech industries which you cannot fulfill with the help of conventional machining method so you have to go for you have to go for the advanced machining 
when we talk of nano level surface uh, nano level surface finish or tolerance is less than the 10 micrometer definitely you cannot get these kind of requirement on the component with the uh, conventional machining process where you are removing the metals in the form of chips where the size of the chips itself is a, a pure uh, 100 microns if you see on the lower side of the something in the form of few um, in the millimeters also uh, with uh, these kind of removal of chips you cannot definitely get nano level surface of our uh, micro products so you need need the processes where you are removing the materials in the form of atoms or uh, molecules and the removal of the material in the forms uh, atoms or you can get through advanced machine processes only as we will see in the further part also so this is a solution for the why do we need the advanced machining processes and this is a reference okay from where i have uh, taken this material thank you